Hello guys, today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the camera I had to use the animated mover uh, The camera actually is used for cutscenes, cutscenes or fuck that, I know my English is, uh, is bad So, uh, okay, Le at the animation editor, animator, animated mover, uh, pardon um, needs to is used to move objects start with the camera okay let's put the camera in let's make that it faces the the player okay so we take the script hold it i know my english is bad don't, don't judge in this in on serious on in the comment section okay here we are so the camera can stay just alone like that it has to be animated so let's start with the animation editor okay so we are here you can see there are a bunch of buttons here for buttons and the free slides menu and the, there's a list here okay let's start uh, do actions create new anim set you can leave the, the, that just like that so uh, there's another button here and click create animation let's just do intro camera okay and here we just click manage envelopes and click camera okay so now you can see that we here have 30 frames here on this bar okay you can see 30 frames are equal to one second if you want that to be longer you can just type here I don't know we can do 210 okay and now 210 is 7 seconds okay but as you can see you can't just move the camera the, ca the actual camera as oh wait it, it has been selected camera is here this is the real camera that is just the model so uh, you can see there's a, like a little cube and this shit I don't know how to, to say anything in English well, the cube is not the camera, the actual point of view is this, not this other part. So, I just prefer to drag it, it near the, the camera, take it, put it here, I just prefer that. You can do whatever you want, I just prefer that the camera and, the, and this model are here, together. Let's start. To start the animation, you can just click here there's a you can see the list here and there's create key frame number zero okay that's fine not a problem okay okay now we want like at 60 degrees no yeah at 60 frames i mean let's make it move here you just click here on the degree on the frame you want and just move the camera where you want to be positioned okay here i just want that way and uh, click uh, create key so okay let's click that okay I want now 120 here okay okay and take this and rotate by another 90 degrees and put it here and create key okay that's fine you can see actually how the, it's move it's moving actually there's like a mountain here and now I want to put that on 180 and uh, rotate it here and put it here okay I just I, a little bit far okay create key okay you can see actually it's like the, the angles are, are, are not um, very sharp and uh, as the last 30 frames I want that it ends uh, like uh, I don't know just okay like here and create key okay you can see here the distance between the the frames you, I don't know if you can see okay you can see the distance with between frames is actually pretty large but in the last point here they are just a bit more um, they are a bit nearer okay so uh, let's make this animation work 
you have to just uh, remember uh, how you call the second box intro camera so we back go back to the uh, word editor and click the script I don't know maybe you want that to start after five seconds I don't know you you can personalize with that I am not making a tutorial on uh, the scripts because there are a lot of them but on cameras I never found one so we just do wait delay free and then type uh, the camera as we want maybe camera 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 intro level okay uh, two points and we click and with the uh, type I mean play anim wait okay uh, and then uh, play anim wait means that the, the animation is just repeated by one and not looping so uh, to stuff here and then we need to use here the name of the animation so camera intro if I don't remember right camera intro you can actually find it here Ah no, intro camera. Oh shit. Okay, intro camera. Okay, we just pick the camera and drag it here. Okay, now we can see if that works. Press T and let's start. Oh, well, you can see that it works. How? well when the animation is done you return to your position so uh, now you can we, we can add uh, some uh, such stuff to the camera like uh, the shake speed we can we can add the shake I don't know maybe one zero dot one uh, maybe let's do one 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 so you can see the result and we can try just watch how the, the effect is well you can see like someone is walking around us maybe a ghost is walking around us and Sam doesn't know ever anything uh, well this was the shake we can uh, even add the post-processing effect maybe it's a cutscene cutscene fuck that uh, where uh, I don't know maybe he's a little bit asleep like here new new post-processing effect and we can like add the blur here I don't know one and you can see the effect oh well you can see how does the effect or you can even change all the stuff in the camera uh, like this it, it, it can be totally dark like this it's not dark at all now but with the camera it's totally fucking dark okay um, Okay, now we start with the um, with the animated mover. So uh, we can pick the animated mover here. Uh, here we are. It's like a green sphere, a red sphere. I mean, okay. So uh, we put here it here, and it, it the animated mover. It's used to move objects. So we now pick the static model. Let's pick static. Here we have it and I'll put it here so now we can choose I don't know you can choose whatever you want like uh, model browser uh, I don't know maybe like an helicopter yeah uh, oh shit where uh, one tank oh let's make a moving tank destroyed I, I don't know that's just fantasy okay we pick it and we put it here uh, we can do like that we can do a really nice thing like this I'll put this here we can put it here okay so now we I prefer you that you put the that in animated mover on the top on the of the object that you want to move so we go we do the same thing go to animation editor actions create new anim set actions create new animation you can leave that default you can leave default actions manage envelope let's click the animated mover now okay so now we can make the animation with this it's the same thing so 
uh, I'll just do a little more like let's do like 90 seconds I don't know as you want and uh, 90, 90 frames that equals to 3 seconds well you can see well, this is like 1.2 seconds ok so uh, we just register the key here create key ok alright then at 45 we put it here create the key fine well now we want it to be rotated but now we need the, the help of our tank so we go back to the word editor we click the tank we go to entity parent and we make the animated mover parent so now in the animation editor you can see how the tank moves with him but now actually we want the, the tank will turn around and go back so we go to 45 we go to I don't know 60 60 okay and just turn it around oh shit let's do what well, let's do like this well you can have a more realistic effect doing a frame by frame like rotating uh, just a bit there moving while rotating just a bit a little bit more realistic but this is a tutorial so create key fine and then we make it move forward here here create key okay well you can see here there's like um, I don't know how it's called so now we have to do the same stuff as before the script but we, we can do a little bit a little bit cooler stuff like we wait that this animation ends and then we make move the 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 tank so we click delay and the type like five I don't, I don't remember how much time so tank anim and uh, we we put uh, we click play anim wait and we call it default so let's put here default uh, let's click on here and put it here okay let's check that twice that the animated mover is parted so we can start the tank is there ah uh, shit uh, right uh, I, I just forgot the post processing effect no we can even add just a little bit of shake like like the tank is moving even without sounds okay so the tank is there okay uh, yeah the camera is just a, a little bit buggy I know well, it's actually pretty good okay well you can see uh, no, we, we, ah no ah uh, all right let's do like 10 seconds we didn't see the, the animation so okay. well you can see uh, that's why it disappeared in the in the camera uh, well you can see now it mo it will move well you see well uh, that was a 360 no scope well you can fix that that's not a problem of course because I just uh, rotated it twice well that's all for this tutorial um, I can just add uh, one stuff for the camera that uh, you can even do uh, with the camera you can even add the target okay so the target is 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 this thing and the, it's where the camera will always look at no matter in which position you put it it will always look at this and it's actually pretty good for bosses that cameras will concentrate only on bosses or on certain events so this was my tutorial hope you you liked it leave a like and uh, we'll see you to the next video